Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How y'all doing today? Well, I'm going to be bringing you something a little bit different today. And this is also going to not only be on my Country Craft Corner YouTube channel, but it will also be over there on Arlen's Travel Channel. As you all know, and as I've told you, I'm one of the administrators in the Alaska Cruises with Princess. Facebook group and we have been getting tons and tons of questions regarding luggage for the land tour if you add a land tour onto one of the voyage of the glaciers either northbound or southbound you can add an interior Alaska land tour onto those two specific itineraries and Princess is very strict with especially the luggage that you use as your quote-unquote carry-on when I say carry-on, I do not mean like your 21-inch uh, rolling suitcase kind with with uh, you know a handle, a telescopic handle, and things like that. You, that will not work. That will not work on the train, and it won't work on the motor coaches. You need to have room under your seat. The princess used to use. Now, those of you who have cruised this season can tell me if this is still the case. They used to use two, type, two different types of train cars. One is their own Princess Rail car and one is through Holland America. And Holland America and Princess share both cars, I believe. The Holland America car has all the seats facing forward, much like a motor coach. Only you would have more leg room plenty of room on that train and much like a, an airplane uh, you need to be able to put your carry-on underneath your seat there's nowhere to store it on the plane in other words there's no underneath compartment or on the, on the train there's no underneath compartments or anything like that so you need to be able to have this bag with you at all times and you need to be able to store it at your feet underneath the seat the uh, the princess train car they are switching them over to all seats facing forward, but they're in the process of doing that right now. So a lot of you this season, 2017, will be having the booth kind of set up, a table in between and you know a booth on either side, and you really don't have a lot of room in those seats to store your bag. Again, that'll be at your feet under the table. You need room for your feet. There's not a lot of room there so when they say a bag that is no more than I have it up here 17 by 14 by 4 they're not kidding I mean they they need you to have that bag pretty close to that size so I am here to show you what I took on our land tour now that has been back in 2012 we have not been on a land tour since then but I will show you what I, the bag I took and tell you why I took it. And I will also show you a bag that I think would work for you guys for this season. I am gonna show you Vera bags because I carry Vera travel bags all the time. I don't, uh, I, Bagalini bags are beautiful, I love them. Uh, some of the travel one bags, they're lovely. I mean, certainly all of the links that, for those of you who are in the Alaska group with me, People have been putting up some awesome links, but I thought I would do this video just to kind of give us an all over view of everything and give us somewhere to refer back to if we need to. So I'm going to also show you the bags that I take on pretty much all of our cruises and I will explain why I usually take two bags. Uh, not because I'm overpacking, just because we take a lot of camera equipment mostly with us and we need to have uh, one suitcase for overflow, and it's a 24 incher, and we usually do check three bags, especially for Alaska, because we take more stuff to Alaska. Chris usually carries all of the cameras and lenses on his back, but there are other things, you know, that you can take, so. And he carries a backpack. For those of who have been asking about camera bags and such, Chris always carries a backpack. He doesn't have a special camera bag. He does for around here, but he uses that more for storage of his extra lenses and whatnot. He doesn't carry that particular bag on our cruises. So, all right, let's get to the bags. The bag that I used in 2012 to take on our land cruise. 
This is an old style messenger bag from Vera. This is also a computer bag. I, for me, I always carry my laptop with me because I like to have some place to download my pictures to and look at them and, you know, on a nine and a half hour train ride, it was nice to have it so we could pull it up and look at pictures and whatever. So this is this particular bag. It measures, let me tell you what it measures. My glasses on so I can see, sorry. Right about 16 and a half inches long, wide to, and it is about 11 inches high, and it is about five and a half inches wide at the bottom. But it has like a, a board on the bottom. And I know that that measurement is messing you, well the whole, all the measurements are kind of like messing with you guys. And I totally get it. Trust me, I totally get it. I stressed and stressed and stressed <laughs> over which bag to take. So, but I needed something that I could use as a carry-on, as a purse, to carry medications, to carry my computer, to carry glasses and lipsticks and chapsticks and gum and, you know, whatever else you might want to have with you. So, this bag worked beautifully for me. And again, this is my choice. And I'm going to show you what if I were to go on a land tour this year, I will show you the bag that I would take for that too. But let me get back. This is the bag I always take as my carry-on on airplanes and whatnot. I've taken the last two cruises. This is the bag I've taken. I'll go back to that. Let's go to this one. Let me show you a little bit closer up. It does have the little compartment for a computer and it is padded. And then you have a good amount of space. It does provide you a good bit of room in there. And then you also have two pockets on the back. So that's just the inside pocket. And of course it zips shut. And then it has a front pocket and it has kind of like a zippers on both sides. And it kind of gives you like the pleated compartment there. And I still have pens in there. Look at that. They've been in there since two, I don't know. I've carried this to more places other than just the land tour. But it gives you a place for pens and a little wallet if you'd like. And, you know, a place for your ID and so on. So that's that side. And then this side actually has a place that you can, a sleeve and you can slip it down over your telescoping handle on your suitcase. And it also, and inside the pocket, there's also another pocket that you could put, well, I don't know, a book, your Kindle, something like that in. So this is the bag that I took. It has two handles, and it also has a shoulder strap that you can clip on and off. And this bag, I remember, it worked beautifully for me. It really did. It didn't give me quite as much room as I would have liked, so I had to be creative when it came to what I was going to carry with me. Of course, you need to take your medications and, you know, only have your essentials that you absolutely need. And my camera turned off on me. Ah, sorry. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm done talking about this bag. <laughs> uh, so let me move on. Uh, let me tell you first that the Vera site does so they do not sell this particular bag any longer this particular style of messenger but they do have a messenger bag I'll give you a link in the description of this video for for one that's on sale right now but you know that of course is going to change depending on when you see this video so I would just go into the Vera site and and put messenger in the search box or go to eBay and search you actually might be able to even find this bag on eBay you never know so but they do have a messenger bag and it is a cross potty bag I don't know that you can see it there is a picture of it and the specific measurements on this bag are 15 inches wide by 11 inches high by 4 inches deep with a 56 inch adjustable strap. 
So that would work beautifully if you are going to be carrying a laptop. I don't know whether you would be like I am, or even if you're not. You know, they do have, if you go on Vera, if you want a Vera bag, they will have bags that will meet the measurements. It's just you have to suit your own, you know, needs, like I do with my laptop, you know. But anyway, on to this bag and what I use, have used for the last two cruises. And if I were going on a land cruise, a land tour, again this year, I would use this bag. I would not hesitate, even with a laptop in it, because I can always slide it underneath the seat or snug it up against the seat, like under the booths, and have it like underneath my legs almost, you know? I think that would work. This would work beautifully. Plus you can scrunch it a little bit. Now with a laptop in it, I have a 15 inch laptop, it might be hard to smush it, but if you didn't carry a computer, then you could certainly smush this down at, with absolutely no problem. So, as I said, this is a canvas backpack, and it does have, just to tell you, it does have kind of a, a padded back to it, so it, if you could scrunch it and fold it down this way, that would work, but I don't know that you'd, if you felt uncomfortable with like the, the kind of the batted, padded back that doesn't scrunch, you know, like the front would scrunch. Anyway, it does have that, so just to tell you that. But uh, this bag measures right about 16 and a half, 17 inches high by hmm, 13 and a half, 13, 13 and a half inches wide. And then the bottom measurement is right about six inches. So this would be pushing the envelope. The princess folks are not gonna be standing there with a, with a tape measure, trust me, they're not. They just want you to be aware that there's not a lot of room and that you're gonna to need to be able to accommodate the bag with you at all times. So this is a nice bag though. I'll go through it real quick just to show you. Uh, as you can see, I'm really a geek. <laughs> I have all my princess pins on there. Not that I care about the captain's circle level. I, I, I could care less about that. I just think the pins are pretty. So I put them on there. And uh, I do have some ship pins and whatnot. I know some people would say, Oh, Arlen, don't put the pins on there. That telescopes that you're a cruiser. Well, yeah, probably does. But and yeah, I'm I'm at an airport and I'm probably traveling and as they figure I'm going to be traveling somewhere, so whatever. I never understand <laughs> that kind of thing. But regardless, I put my pins on, and it has a zipper pocket in the front, and I have a pad of paper in there right now because I always take I'm taking copious notes because I like to. Be able to have my I like to have my facts straight all the time so and I know I don't all the time but I try really hard <laughs> it has a front zipper and in the front zipper it's got kind of a hound's tooth inside it's pretty I've just got another beer bag with pins in it I've got some perfume which I don't know where I took this bag oh, I had it in the car with me last time we went to uh, Canada and doing Canada and New England this is the one I took it has another sleeve in the back there. So that's the front pocket. And then one big pocket inside. And you can see I have my easy as pie crosswords because I'm on vacation and I don't want to be taxed, <laughs> but I want some busy work. So I think I'm gonna to need to get another, I need to check this. I might need to get another one. Yeah, look, I'm almost, Halfway through, and I can always finish all of them. Look at that. So anyway, easiest pie crosser, got it off of Amazon. Cool little books. And I do have, I have a computer bag in here. And I have a double zip cosmetic bag that I put all of my, like my power cord, my download cord, my phone charger, that kind of thing in. I'm an Apple user, use all Apple products, so. Don't hold that against me, please. <laughs> but I do. So, that is the campus backpack. And also, uh, for those of you who have um, 
wear earphones all the time. It has a little space where you can stick your cord for your earphones in and put your phone or whatever inside. It has that and padded shoulder straps that are adjustable. So it's nice. And as I said, I wouldn't hesitate to take this with me on a land cruise. I'll be taking it on my back-to-back -back Voyage of the Glaciers cruises. <laughs> I will definitely be taking it then. So let me think, what else? What other questions have I had? I, you know what I could do too? <laughs> I could do a, like a question and answer kind of a thing. I don't necessarily do live YouTubes or Facebooks, but if you guys wanted to compile a list of questions or, you know, maybe we could get together and compile a list of questions and I could go through and just do a question and answer kind of a video, that might be a cool thing to do too. Let me know your thoughts on that. That might be a cool thing to do. All right. So, for your quote unquote, join me. I'm going to put the princess, a link for the princess Alaska cruise tours. Uh, this supplemental information for land portion of your Alaska cruise tour. Please review the cruise answer book for details regarding the cruise portion of your vacation. I'll put a link to this document. It's a PDF. I'll put that in the description of this video too. And it goes through all kinds of information that is just invaluable to have for your land tour. It just, you know, it just tells you your suggested flight arrival times and departure locations and arrival cruise, you know, what happens when you cruise first and then do the land tour, what happens when you do the land tour and then cruise. It goes through everything. And in the midst of all this information on about page six, I believe, is all of your luggage. They even give you, you know, weather uh, predictions or, you know, what, what is the average temperatures and, you know, in each place. And they, you know, give you some ideas about clothing, just things about excursions, cruise tour regulations, prices, refunds smoking, gratuities, transportation, wheelchairs, flight seeing excursions, personal possessions. I mean, it goes on and on and on. This is an invaluable source for those of you taking a land or what they call a cruise tour, a land tour, the land portion of your cruise tour. Then it comes to the luggage portion. As I said before, the only luggage that they put a size restriction on is the luggage that or the piece of luggage that you will carry with you the luggage that they that you will pick to either go to the ship the join you on the ship or the join you tonight luggage you'll get those uh, when you get to your first destination on your land tour you will get a package from the princess representatives that will give you your different luggage tags and then you can delineate which suitcase you want to go where or you can only take one big suitcase one suitcase it doesn't matter the size but you can take one suitcase that princess will transfer from lodge to lodge for you that suitcase may not be if you go by motor coach for instance it may not be on that same motor coach with you you will not have access to that suitcase when you're in route so once that bag is picked up each morning from your princess you know, folks, you won't see it again until you reach your destination and it will magically appear by your door. So please know that you need to have whatever you absolutely need to have with you, with you. CPAP machines, they will uh, transport separately, I think. Um, I'm not quite positive, but medical equipment is transport. They definitely transport medical equipment, and I think that is considered medical equipment. So, I think I've covered everything. There's no, I said that, there's no size restriction to the suitcase that you can send to the lodge or to the ship. Although you will be limited, of course, by the size of that bag with your, air, you know, with your airline carrier. You know, I always take a 29 inch spinner for my major bag, for my major packing bag suitcase. So certainly a 29 inch spinner that, you know, adheres to your airline carrier's 
restrictions would work fine. So don't worry about that. You can take a big suitcase. Just know that you won't have access to it while you're en route from place to place. So, all right, now I'm going to turn off here. I'm gonna take the camera over and I'm gonna show you the two suitcases that I take. I'm gonna show you my packing folder. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to use the packing folder because I'm, I'm not packing to go anywhere right today. I can give you a link to uh, where I show you how I used my packing folder and some of my packing cubes for our trip to Canada and New England. I'll give you a little link for that in the description. But I am gonna come over here and I'll show them to you and show you the suitcases that I take. Anyway, I hope this has helped. And if you guys have any more ideas of videos that you'd like me to, to do, please let me know in the comments. Uh, folks in the Alaska group, like I said, y'all could, you know, compose a question and answer sheet for me and I could just go down the line and answer what I could. I can't answer everything. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not an expert. I'm not a travel agent. <laughs> I just tend to retain details because I'm a blogger, you know, and I, and I like, you know, the devil's in the details sometimes. And if you don't know the details, you know, you kind of get lost in the shuffle sometimes. So I always try to know the details. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn off here and I'll be back behind the camera to show you the bags that I take to give you a peek at those uh, packing cubes and my Eagle Creek garment folder. Be right back. Hey everyone. Okay, I'm back here in my family room and I've got my suitcases here at my feet. So let me back off here. And let me show you, here's my 29 inch spinner. I'm telling you guys, for years and years and years and years, I had, I mean, for a decade or more, we used suitcases that had the telescoping handle that you had to pull behind you. Oh my gracious, this big girl struggled so much with those suitcases. I was. Kristen, our daughter, get us these spinners. This spinners, I got one and Chris got one for Christmas a couple of years ago. I didn't know what I was missing, you guys. So this is my 29 inch spinner and this is what I take on all of our cruises. And this holds all of my packing cubes and my packing folders and I'll get that for you in just a second. Chris then got me that same Christmas, he got me this beautiful Vera got me two of them actually and I'll take this one on cruises but he got me two Vera bags this is a 24 incher and I do check both of these bags and I do take this bag because as I said we take a lot of camera equipment so we need a place for the tripod and the what is it the what is it the one that sits up that's unipod or whatever tripod unipod whatever it is all kinds of camera equipment because we really love our pictures and we really love to take pictures so these are the two bags I take I am NOT a minimalist I try not to overpack but I hear people always saying they are a minimalist well I only take my sh my you know my clothes in my big suitcase and I know some people can go on a cruise and only take this size bag, a carry-on, and only have a carry-on and never have to check anything. Well, I say more power to them, and I respect them, absolutely respect them. But I know myself, and I know how we travel, and this is how we travel, so please don't judge. <laughs> this is how we travel. I don't judge other people for traveling that way. I don't judge people for being minimalists, but I'm not. I'm not one, so these are the bags I take. Now, let me show you my packing cubes, and I'm gonna order myself another set. I only have one set, and I'm gonna fix it and order myself another one, because I could have used one or two more packing cubes. Let me put this up a little bit, see if I can get this up. There we go. All right, here are my packing cubes. I get, and I'll put a link in the description, I get mine from Shack Pack. Only be from Amazon, only because this is what Kristen got me. I hear Eagle Creek has beautiful uh, 
packing cubes, compression packing cubes. I think they're all compression cubes, really. I guess there are some that have compartments inside that you can compress down even more. I'm not in the know about those, so I'm gonna hush up. I'm not gonna say anything more about those. But the Shack Pack has been lovely for me, really and truly, and I've gotta get my hair done. If y'all excuse my gray that's coming through. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Why did I even mention? Anyway, regardless, here's the packing cubes, and I have them all, you know, inside. This is the largest one that this set comes with. It came with four cubes, and then the the. This could be used as your like your laundry bag or whatever they call it a laundry bag. So here's the biggest size. I fit for our Canada and New England cruise, and I'll link, as I said, I'll link that below. Or you can look at the top right of your screen, and I'll have a little mark there, and you can go look at that if you want to. Me packing up my cubes and my packing folder, which I'll get to in a second here. But I fit all of my slacks. I take black slacks usually. If you had jeans, you could fit jeans, whatever. All of my slacks and bottoms in this, plus two ponchos. I'm not kidding you guys. These really, really, really do work. Now I look, look at that. I look like I was in a spotlight. Anyway, these really do work. This is the biggest size. And then you have, this is the next size. And then this one, and then this one. They all have handles. I got all of my unmentionables in this, all of them. Yes, yes I did. All right, so those are the packing cubes. And then this magic little thing is called a garment. This is from Eagle Creek and it's a garment packing folder. And Again, refer to that video. It's a lot easier since I'm not going to be packing anything today, but it does come with an instruction instruction card. And this is what you use to fold your garments around. And it folds them exactly to the size you need, and then you place them in and slide the card out. And do it one after the other. Another. I had over 20 tops for our uh, Hawaii cruise. That was a 15-nighter. And I needed some, you know, nicer clothes and more knock-around clothes and that kind of thing. I had 20 tops in here. Easily 20. Only thing is, when you start using these, I will caution, you got to watch your weight. Be sure to get yourself one of those suitcase, uh, you know, scales so that you can keep an eye on your weight. Because if you're, you know, if your airlines restrict you for weight, and plus you don't want to have it much over 50 pounds because think of the princess people too or the people you're going to on your cruise who are, who are gonna to have to be handling your bags too. They don't need to have a bad back after having to pick up a 70 pound bag or whatever. So anyway, I hope this has helped a little bit to clarify and to show you what I take. And, and again, what I do uh, is not set in stone for everybody. I would never expect that what I do should be what everybody else does absolutely not it's just that i have i have gathered it into a way that works for me you know i've gathered the suitcases that work the best for me the packing aids that work the best for me the carry-ons that work the best for me just use this as a template please and <laughs> forgive me if i've rambled i tend to ramble i am a chatty kathy for sure <laughs> anyway for those of you in the Alaska group, I hope to meet you guys someday. One of these days, hopefully we will cruise together. If you've not signed up for the uh, for the group cruise, please do that. I'm gonna be on the one, the round trip uh, from Seattle in 18. Sign up for that. I'd love to meet you. Anyway, I'm gonna close for now and just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.